this start to play? What's going on guys? Welcome back to In Retrospect. Today we are playing yet again Banjo-Kazooie. This time we're gonna go through Treasure Trove Cove and hopefully 100% it for you guys. Now, last episode we did 100% on Mumbo's Mountain and collected the secret jiggy. We did everything that we had to do in Spiral Mountain and now all that's left for us to do next is continue. Guys, hope you guys are having a good day. I certainly am. And if you couldn't tell by my shirt, I am doing this on the same day I did the last one. So hopefully the day I upload this, I'm having a good day. And hopefully you are as well. All right, so we just got our health replenished by bottles. And he told me all that we need to know about these doors, which can only be opened if you have a certain amount of music notes. And thankfully we had double what was required. Because I like to complete games 100%. And now, we are in the main area for the Treasure Trove Co. painting. This jump spring that I believe opens us up to Clinker's Cavern or Bubble Glue. Nah, it's gonna be Bubble Glue, I think. Oh, no, that's Clinker. All right, so that has that over there. And then down here is a neat little secret. I guess it's not really secret, I mean, it's pretty blunt that they tell you what these are for, but these are teleporting cauldrons, which if you wake one up and you find another one in the same, in uh, Grunty's lair, that's the same color, you'll be able to fast travel the different areas in the lair, which is pretty useful later, but not if you're just doing this all in one go. I found myself not really using these that much, but eh, they could be useful. Oh, and I almost forgot. It's Brentilda, Gruntilda's sister, who is very nice and very lovely. And here she will give us three important facts about the evil witch, Gruntilda. And it's not really clear why you really need to go through these early in the game. And it's only, it's only until you're actually at the very end that you realize, oh crap, I really needed to know these. And since I'm recording these, I feel like I can just cheat and not write them down. So I'm just gonna learn all the. Uh oh, I'm just gonna learn the facts. Well, I just skipped the first one. So, okay, she washes her hair in baked beans, and she gets her clothes from the witch's warehouse. And then what was the first fact? Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug-flavored toothpaste. Yeah, not very cool. This is kind of lame, but hey, stuff you need to know. All right, I don't like stairs much in my lair. They always make me gasp for air. But she's fat and she's out of shape. Is that too harsh? I don't really know. But hey, look at that! We opened Treasure Trove Cove! But now, we are ready to explore this little beach. This little tropical paradise, except it's not a paradise at all. This is horrible. It's got sharks and giant snails. Not really snails. No, they're not snails. It's a hermit crab. Giant, giant hermit crabs. Alright, and then... Before we do that... Actually, yeah. Before we do that, I need to go open up another cauldron, which I think if I find the next one, it will be able to take me towards uh, Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah, so this one's orange, uh, red. The one that we opened up earlier was pink. It's pink or purple. Not quite sure. Um, the colors could be off on my copy of the game, or at least my TV. So, with that in mind, we're gonna just go ahead and jump right into Treasure Trove Cove, which is down here in this lovely, lovely door. Cool. Today, I think, question will be, are you excited for ukulele? I personally am really pumped for it. Uh, it's supposed to come out April 7th, I believe was the re release date, but I've had that thing pre-ordered since they launched the Kickstarter back in May of 2015. And I'm pretty bummed I wasn't able to get my hands on the N64 card, but I'll take what I can get. Oh god, oh god, no, no, damn it! 
Alright, so... Snackers. It's obviously the worst part of this level. Anytime you get in the water, he's there, and there's really no way to escape him, unless you can just swim really, really quickly. But... Grabbing that blue ginger is always the worst. But here we have, uh... Nipper? Yeah, it's Nipper. Oh god, it's getting away from me. Alright, I'm just gonna kill this guy. There we go. Ow. Alright, I gotta wait for him to stop. I don't know if he's just waiting for me to attack or just like exhausted and out of shape. Who knows? Alright. Aha, you're dangerously close, but you can't reach me. Now I commit a very horrible act, which is poking you in the eye with a very sharp beak. Cool. So before I go in, I'm just gonna go around here and grab the uh, Mumbo Skull. There is no Mumbo transformation in Treasure Trove Cove. It's a not so fun fact. It's just fact. Can't turn into anything. Um, but this level does have a sand castle that you can go inside and then it lets you type in cheats and it is in there that you can actually unlock a cheat to turn yourself into a dishwasher. Best transformation in the game. And for some reason, Nipper is nowhere to be found. <laughs> he either just like dissolved when he shrunk back in here or he became those two crabs. Because he is just MIA. I have no idea where he went. But hey, he left a jiggy. That was nice of him. Alright, so we are on the board with one Jiggy on Treasure Trove Cove. This shouldn't take too long, guys. It might be maybe about half an hour if I just keep this unedited, but if I edit all the boring parts, then hopefully maybe like 15, 15 minutes, 20, somewhere around there. Alright, so we still haven't learned the spring jump, and thankfully we can do that over here at this uh, part, but let me just make sure there are no music notes, which there are, because like I said, we are doing a 100% run on Banjo-Kazooie this time around. So, I need to collect every single music note in the level before I can call it quits, and I really hope that I don't miss a, a music note along the way, and I'm not desperately trying to find the last one and take like hours of time trying to find it. That would suck, because that's happened before. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna grab all the music notes while I can. And then there's some pretty fun stuff in this level. There's uh, Captain Blubber, always a fun little character. He's just burping non-stop. And he lost his gold, but really he didn't. It's just still in the ship. Moron. Really dumb. And then he goes, decides to... Uh, buy stuff with all the gold, which I have no idea where the hell he would go. There's no mall thing over here. Hey, and I need to poop the eggs. Alright. Well, I missed. Okay, so... We got that. Leaky, patched up, now empty water for a bit. And we're gonna explode that bomb. Because he's a dick. And now, as you can see, we have opened up the sandcastle that lets me use cheese. Which I'm not gonna do. I'm not going to do that, unless I turn into the, um... Gosh. Really should have done this before... I really should have, uh, grabbed the music notes before I drain the water. But, I can always just get my, um... I can always fly to it. Alright, so... In here, we have to type out Banjo-Kazooie on these little letter tiles. And I have to do it in a certain amount of time, but that's... Pretty easy to do. Sometimes it's just hard to find the right letter. And not a whole lot to talk about on this part. <laughs> this dude has just been in a cage for who knows how long. He's been jailed in this sandcastle. Like, he's not even able to just hang out in the whole sandcastle. He only gets a little section. And right now we are looking for Z over there. Grab the two O's. But... Yeah, I think, going back to ukulele, I am really, really, really excited for it. I backed it as soon as I could, and unfortunately I didn't have enough money for the N64 cartridge. And the N64 cartridge was a ridiculous amount of money, honestly. 500 bucks. And I don't even know if it's like an N64 version of the game. I don't think it is. I think it's only... I think it's an EverDrive 
basically, just with the ukulele label. But I still would have loved to have that, honestly. And oh well, I still have a digital copy of the game for PS4. And I am actually kind of bummed that they canceled the Wii U version, but who knows? It might come out for the Switch now. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, actually, I might be able to get up to the Sandcastle from here. I might not even have to. Oh, okay. We're going to need the wings. We're going to need to fly. So, I think at this point, I'm probably going to try... First off, I got to learn the box spring move. And then... Or not the box spring. The... the the leg spring, this jump spring, here we go. I don't know why I said box spring. The mattress move! To reach new heights with my shock jump. It's not even, I didn't even get it right. Shock jump spring, does Kazooie do it my legs are tired? Yep, he, uh. uh this game, got a very strange sense of humor, but I love it. Everybody's a smart ass, and uh, it's just cheeky British humor. I love it. And this is probably one of the easier um, jiggies to get in the level, which is uh, this one over here. There's this one at the top of this uh, ledge. Uh, ledge. Alright, so I got one red feather, which won't do any good until I get enough to fly for a good distance. But now we have our, our third jiggy. Where was our... Hmm. Oh, that's right. It was a sandcastle. Alright. So now we have three Jiggies, and I'm going to go back and grab that Jinjo. Because I might as well do that while I'm here. And if I don't know correctly, the Mumbo Skull is right here. Once again, there's no Mumbo transformation in Treasure Trove Cove. But I like to collect them anyway because I'm doing 100%. I'm getting everything. I'm getting every single thing in the game that you can possibly get. Even the stop and swap. And they don't do anything. They do nothing. Because Nintendo doesn't want people ripping cartridges out of the system. Which I totally get. I, I get it. Kids are pretty dumb. And I know that if I had the stop and swap, I totally would have uh, destroyed one of my cartridges or my console. And believe it or not, this N64 that I'm playing it on right now was actually my childhood N64. This is the same one that my brothers and I got from uh, Costco. My parents bought us for... My parents bought us the N64 in 1997. And it came with Diddy Kong Racing. And that was probably the start of my gaming life. Diddy Kong Racing was what got me hooked to video games. Another Rareware classic. So, now that I have the spring jump, I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to go get Blubber's uh, treasure. So, there is one part of his treasure down here. And then the other one, you have to do a ground pound on the ship itself to grab it. But you can see it on the other side. Yeah. See? So, there's one right there, and then there's one on the other side. And I can do that. All I have to do is just go up to the top, which you'll see. I don't know with Let's Plays if I should just narrate what I'm doing, like actual commentary, but or if I should just find discussions of things to talk about. Because I think if I were to just say, all right, I'm going to go throw this over here, and then I'm going to go talk to Captain Blubber, and then I'm going to listen to him talk, and then I'm going to go jump in the water, I would probably get more thumbs down than I've ever gotten before. And I've gotten quite a few. So now that we've got one part of the treasure right here. It's time to go down. Down, down, down. But yeah, no. Hopefully I can do pretty well with solo Let's Plays. I don't really have any experience just doing these on my own. Um, I know a lot of it is just trying to fill empty voids by talking non-stop. Basically saying whatever you're thinking. And sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad because I don't know how much of a filter I'd have. Or I don't even know. See, I just ramble. I just ramble at times. Like, comment, subscribe if you ramble a lot. <laughs> Whatever. So now we have the other golden piece, and now Blubber is so happy. Me treasure, thank ye, me hearties. Take this reward. 
I'm off to spend. Spend, spend. Now he's just gonna go spend it all. What would Captain Blubber buy with all that gold? Let me know in the comments what you think he would buy. Would he be smart and invest his money? Or would he go on a crazy binge of, uh, of buying drinks? Actually, he's a pirate. He would buy booze and hookers. Yeah, that's what he would do. That's the pirate life. All right, so we're going to climb up here and grab the green Jinjo. Got him. Got him. And now we are only missing the orange and yellow. And the orange one is up at the top of the mountain, and then the other one is kind of perched on the ledge, which I can get to really quickly. Okay, so we've unlocked the, uh, the flight pad. Hopefully I have some... Oh, perfect. Bottles gave me some feathers. Well, that was nice of him. Alright, so, now that we got that, I can turn around and try and go back to, uh, the sandcastle and grab those missing pieces, those missing music notes. Oh, and that, that over there is where you find the first stop and swap item. But I don't think I have access to it yet. I think, um, I have to beat the game first before any of those open up. Or I might have to actually enter a cheat code, which would... Get me there. Might have to do some research on that in between episodes. Alright. So, now that we've got the flight pad, we probably should grab the Mumbo Skull that's right over here. Um, I don't know. At least I thought that. Yep, there it is. It just didn't move. Alright. So, here comes uh, Snacker. And he disappeared. Perfect. But I just want this. I don't, I don't, I don't need. I don't need you. Get away. Get away. Fuck off. Eh. He always disappears right as I launch the eggs, so I'm always wasting the eggs that I need for later. All right, and right over here is another jiggy. I might as well just get it out of the way. But it's nice because it gives us some extra feathers and some eggs, which we desperately need after I tried to just kill uh, snackers. Much to my my failure, I could not do it. And bam, right here in this little secret area. We now have our fifth Jiggy in Treasure Trove Cove. We're only halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're still here, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. That that. that mm. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're still here, please go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. My goal is to have weekly content for you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Every other Wednesday, I should have it in retrospect out for you. Uh, and that's my show about N64 games and what I love about them and what I don't love about them. Basically, the reviews of N64 games because not a lot of people have N64 games anymore. I don't really know if that's true or not. I was pulling that out of my ass, but... Hey, I just thought, why not throw my hat into the ring? Because I love the N64. It's my favorite console because it was the one that I grew up on. So I'm I'm biased towards it. <laughs> and look at that! Right then, we just got our sixth, um, our sixth jiggy. And now we're about to have almost all the Jinjos. I forgot that we were missing the last one, which is way the hell up there at the top of that little mountain, but right over here we can grab some extra eggs and some more music notes. And these guys are always a pain in the ass if you don't get them on the first hit, because then they'll be knocked over, but then they'll still be able to hit you if you just touch them with your hitbox. And now there should be one more mumbo token down here. Got it. And I think we're doing pretty good, pretty well so far. We've got most of the main stuff done. Now it's just getting the last of the jiggies. Already learned all the moves. I think. I think I've learned all the moves. But what I haven't done yet is find the right place to ground pound. Okay, so there's these little areas. Oh. Well, I wasn't supposed to ground pound there, but there are these little areas that you fly around on the map where you have to ground pound like a, a red X, and then it will 
will shift and show you the direction that you need to go. I'll explain more of that when I can actually find the actual origin point. I don't know if origin point is a proper term. I don't even know what an origin point is. Hey, look at that. Some jiggy. Nice. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and just head back down to this area because this is where I can get started on a jiggy. And then I'll also be able to collect some of the last music notes. We'll probably save the roof, or the lighthouse, for the last jiggy, probably. I just need to get some more notes. So, if I remember correctly, I should be able to get music notes in here. No, these are red pebbles. Okay. Cool. There are music notes in... in uh, here we go, right here. So... Got 81. Oh god, that was close. Got 81 music notes at the moment. We are missing 19, and that shouldn't be a problem because most of them should be either at the top or right over here. And right down here is a extra life, which I'm gonna go ahead and because I don't want to die a lot, and if I do die a lot, then at least I won't have to get a game over. And getting a game over, there's no real punishment. It's just more like you start at the very beginning of the of the layer. All right. So, 15 away from getting all the music notes, and I just fucked that up. So let's go back again, and I might have to edit it. Let's try one more time. There we go. Now watch my skill, my platforming skill. Fuck! Alright. And I swam right into Snackers. Awesome. My platforming skills, ladies and gentlemen. Aren't they incredible? Alright, so now we're gonna try and go back up here and not fuck up. And I think I should be able to do that pretty easily at this point. <laughs> Um, if you think that was bad, just wait till Clanker's Cavern or Rusty Bucket Bay. It's gonna get a lot worse. It's gonna get a lot worse from here. Alright, so there we go. And I missed all I missed all the red feathers. Which could have been very useful. But oh well. Um Oh! Alright, so there's two mumbo skulls in there, but I'm not gonna get those yet because I still need to just do this little side quest. Which is a little treasure hunt. How fitting on a tropical island. And... BAM! It's telling us to go this way. Luckily enough, there's a flight pad. It's like they had this all mapped out. It's like they knew what they were doing at the beginning. It's incredible. The planning. That was sarcasm. If you couldn't tell. Alright, now we are going up again. Heading over to the next one. Really not a whole lot to talk about about this. I mean, it's really simple. Um, what else can I talk about? I think I already asked what your guys' favorite platformers games are. Uh, ooh, a mumbo token. So, I think I will... Hmm. That was a great, wonderful shot. There we go. So I guess I will ask this. What is your favorite Rareware game? And that includes anything from... Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong Country, um, Perfect Dark, GoldenEye, Grab by the Ghoulies, if there's any of you out there. Um, I don't, I don't think anybody's favorite game is Grab by the Ghoulie. Sorry, Rare, but, no. Let me know in the comments what you think the best Rareware game is, and that could be, like, anything from, like, Conker's Bad Fur Day, anything that they've ever done, Blast Corps, even, I don't care, or Mickey Speedway USA. That's a Rareware title, believe it or not. They made a Mickey Mouse racing game like Diddy Kong, and I'm gonna chase this piece of shit. Luckily, we got him. Sometimes he's hard to hit. Sometimes he goes way too fast. But now we are two away from almost 100%ing this game. And let me just check. So I am missing nine jiggies or nine music notes, excuse me. And I know that all nine of them are are back up at the top of this area. So I'm just gonna go back to this flight pad at the top of the pirate ship. And then I'm just gonna fly up to the top. I'm not gonna bother going into this little cove right here. Actually, 
Yeah, this one has a music note, so I need that. So, yes, I will go up there because I need to collect stuff. I forgot. Alright. So, up here is not only the last music notes, but also the last Jinjo. As you can see right here, perched precariously on a tree suspended thousands of feet above the island. <laughs> I don't know how he got there in the first place, and why does he even need to stay there if he can fly? Like, really? You couldn't just save yourself? Nobody can save themselves in these games. Nobody. Because they always rely on Banjo and Kazooie. Then again, I guess there wouldn't be a game if they could save themselves. I wonder if any game's ever done that. If there have been, like, the damsel in distress, but it turns out they just saved themselves. Is that Super Princess Peach? I don't know. It's awfully quiet up here. I was always uncomfortable with how quiet this area was. But right back here is another grunty switch. We're gonna hit that, and it's going to shoot the Jiggy out of the cannon onto the other side of the uh, overworld. And now we can go up to the lighthouse. And there's another Mumbo Skull, which we are getting quite a few of already. So. Bam, there we go. We got all 100 music notes and our last Jiggy of the level right here. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with Treasure Trove Cove. I think I will just grab the last secret uh, Jiggy and then we'll call it a day. And then we'll come back with either Clinker's Cavern or Bubble Gloop Swamp. Because if I remember correctly, you're able to do one or the other. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to have to traverse this and that didn't take as long as I thought it would. And I just broke my leg. But we're good. We're good. We're still happy. We're still jolly. Everybody's having a good time. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Not a good time anymore. Not a good time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. There we go. So we've got all of the things from Treasure Trove Cove, with the exception of the stop and swap item, which I don't get access to until later in the game. And I'm just gonna kill this guy so we can get some more health. Because I am running low and I was stuck under the bridge. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a... Eh. Tried to think of a pun for Banjo and I failed. Failed, y'all. If y'all can think of a f uh, pun for Banjo-Kazooie and Red Hot Chili Peppers under the bridge, let me know in the comments! I would love to hear your ideas. And I am really just grasping for straws at things to talk about because I am not doing that well as a solo Let's player. Unless if you think otherwise, also let me know. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. I don't know if I should keep doing these solo. It might be better if I get a special guest to play with me. In fact, I've been talking with Elo to get him to play Banjo-Kazooie because he just played it for the very first time not too long ago. And now that he's aware of it, I would love to do a Let's Play with him on Banjo-Kazooie. Um, so hopefully he might show up in a couple episodes. Who knows? All right, and with that, we are all done with uh, Treasure Trove Cove. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to be putting out content for you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And, uh, yeah. Blankers Caverns next. Bye, guys.